Well, good morning, folks. It is a frosty morning up here in Vermont today. It's only about 11 degrees Fahrenheit. It's colder than a well digger's crack this morning. Wow, I don't think I'll go outside today. So, what better thing to do than do a little cooking? Today, I thought I'd throw together some uh, of those pockets, hot pockets. And, um... My innards to this one I've taken, a, got right here is about a pound of uh, sausage in there. I put a whole onion in there, all chopped up pretty finely. And of course I added my mushrooms because you know how I love my mushrooms. And uh, that's ready to go. And we're also going to use pepperoni. Yeah, spice it up a bit here. And, uh, of course, the sauce that we made the other day, that venison sauce. We're going to try that out. Using that stuff up quickly. Got to be careful. I'll have to make some more. So, the dough recipe is just my simple pizza dough here. We get uh, about two cups of water there with uh, a quarter of... Uh, cup of uh, sugar in there with my three teaspoons of yeast you can see that's pretty active it's working out pretty well I got two teaspoons of salt and I got about a quarter a cup of uh, vegetable oil I don't know there's five and a half six cups of flour give or take so well, let's see I gotta find my dough hook well, where'd I put you this time? That yeah, sure does love hiding on me. Hey, damn it. You can put it in a different spot every time, even though it's got a place to hang up there on the wall. Oh well, away it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some of my flour in here. Not all of it. Same routine, like most dough, bread doughs, all the doughs, they're all pretty much the same. I'm going to throw this salt in there. I think I just might whip that around just a little bit. Get that salt through there. And there we go. Now I'm going to add yeast. There. And of course the vegetable oil. We need that vegetable oil. Won't work without it. All right, we'll see how this works. Whoop. Round and round she goes, and where she stops, and nobody knows. down them sides get all that stuff off the bottom now I gotta let this proof up for a while after uh, I get it made so it'll work a little bit easier Thank you. 
Get more flour. Seem to get more flour on me than I do in the pot sometimes. Kneading the flour usually takes five, ten minutes. You kind of can tell if you do it long enough. Alright, let's check this out. Yep, I think that's fine. Just gonna throw some flour down here on my workspace here. Take out the dough hook. If I can remember where I set it next time. See if I can scrape this out of here. Ugh. Yeah, we got her all. Ooh, that feels good. Gonna be a good dough. Yes, sir. -y. Look at that stretchy, stretchy dough. Nice and warm in the inside of this thing. Yeah. All right. proof bag out. These are kind of handy little gadgets if you got a cold kitchen. As you can see it's got one of these uh, things that tells you temperature, it's in Celsius. You just plug it in, it's got a heater thing on the bottom that keeps it just the right temperature and it'll shut off if it gets too hot. And it turns on if it gets too cold. I think I had to, I wanted to buy something from the U.S. of A, but no, I had to get this down in Jamaica. Yeah. I would think somebody would put one of these together up here. Simple, simple thing to make, I would think. So we'll plug her in. Find me a bowl. I got a whole bunch of these chocolate molds. I've been meaning to use some of them. But every time I make some of them things, I eat them all. So it's not good for my waistline. You say a what waistline? Huh, I heard you. All right, little dab of oily. And my paintbrush over here. Put 
good about these things you can use them for painting your house or cooking either way it works fine yep i don't recommend painting the house first then using it but as it wears out i'll wash it all up and get a new one and use this for painting recycle that's the key that and I'll just cover her on up and throw it in the box so I'll be back in a little while and we'll take and uh, cut these things out and roll them out and see what kind of pockets we can make I'll see you in a little while well okay I'm back Need a little more dust. these up with this cutter Recess. Remember them days when those bells used to ring out on the playground? It means you had to go back inside. <laughs> of course, we'd all take our time getting back here, that's for sure. Much rather be out on that playground, them slides, than being in there with them teachers. I don't know why they think I need any more education anyway. I'm just as smart as they are, ain't I? Well, pretty close. Well, let's see what we got here. So you can see the idea here is to make some nice circles. And I'll find my old copper spoon. Oh, no, yeah, I don't know what I did with it. Well, I could use 
this later one here to work all right. So next thing we're going to do is open up my sauce. I seal these up and free them in these Ziploc bags that work pretty good. Take them out when I need them. I take them out the night before and they thaw out pretty good. If they're not quite thawed, I throw them in the microwave for a minute or two. Whoop. Got to cut below that line there, I guess, to make it work. There. Try that. Being stubborn. Oh, that looks good. Mmm. Gonna be delicious. Love my sauce. trash getting rambling on here too much and gotta pay attention to what I'm doing I'm gonna paint this sucker up be kind of generous with it don't get it all the way on the ends there because you want to be able to seal her up in pretty good shape Sausage and mushrooms. Yes, sir. I'm going to add our pepperoni. You put on as much as you like. That's the way it is with me. You like something else better you put something else in it all works out the same so we got that all done we're going to try to gently pull this over yep line up the edges tap her down and you want to take a fork I'm just going to do them edges like this. Let's seal it up so it don't leak out all over your oven. And we'll give her a few holes in the top like that. Find my spatula in here. Scoop her on up and we'll lay her on the pan. Now aren't those pretty? Yep. That one was a cheeseless one. My next one will we'll add cheese to it. Break out the cheese. Give a little more dust down here. Some of these be bigger than others. It don't really matter. They all eat the same. Of course, if you chill your dough, it rolls a lot easier, but I guess figured I'd work it this way today.
All right. On goes the sauce. Sausage. Pepperoni. And some cheese. Put a few little holes in the top for vents. Well, you get the idea. That's the way we're going to make them. And when they're all baked up, I'll get, show you what they look like baked. But they're a great lunch and easy to make. I want to thank you all for coming along to another episode of Papa Keats Kitchen. It means a lot to me. Gives me somebody to talk to during the day. And, uh, yeah, you all have a great day. Now, don't those look delicious? I got some more in the oven. I'm going to freeze them. Pull them out when I need a quick lunch. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Thank you.